Hey guys, here I have this 2014 Chevrolet Camaro 1LS V6. I have halogen front headlamps, snow fog lamps. A nice set of 245-55-18s. A nice Camaro badge. The window sticker is inside. Um, we have color keyed mirror caps with color keyed door handles. And the tires measure the same in the back. We have a nice chrome tip dual exhaust. And a little spoiler on the rear. Very attractive car. We'll go ahead and hop inside. No smart key access or anything. You have a black cloth interior. You have a two-way power driver's seat. The power adjustment is the backrest. This is to adjust the seat height. And slide the seat back and forth over here. Getting inside, it's a rather tight fit. Um, I already have this seat pulled up because I already filmed this car and I couldn't get the seat to go up. So I just went ahead and did it. But um, you have, um, this will look at the window sticker. Sorry for the sun glare. Focus, there we go. 3.6 liter V6 battery, six speed manual. 1728's your fuel economy, that's not that bad. Twenty-four four fifty, that's a pretty good deal. Um I'll throw that up there. So getting on with the tour. Um, I think the windows sound kind of cheap. Um, this is all a big hunk of plastic. And this little armrest and it is padded. And the chrome door handle, power mirrors, power locks, power windows, automatic lights. Um, you have your turn signals and your menu for your trip computer in the middle. Intermittent wipers, a urethane wrapped steering wheel with a um, grip extension. It's a very nice wheel. You have your hands free controls, audio controls, cruise control. The clutch is um, springy, but it's okay. It has a good amount of heft to it. But you have a six speed manual. You can see the shift pattern is down there. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And then all the way over and up for reverse. It's a very good feeling shifter. Um, it's vinyl wrapped. But still feels good in the hand. Um, you have your parking brake. Dual cup holders with a decently padded armrest. I apologize for the glare, but you have a little storage in there. With a power outlet and I believe a USB outlet. This kind of just slams down. Um, you have storage down here, your basic radio, um, climate controls, so temperature control. Um, might be dual zone. No, I don't think it is, it's just single zone. Um, you have your defrost here, glove box. It's kind of cheap, but it's stamped and well. Um, Largely sized. This is some nice vinyl here. It is stitched. Dashboard's hard to the touch. You have these really cheap tiny visors with a mirror. Same on that side. And the headliner feels okay. Um, it's not that bad. You do have OnStar. You can see it lights up when you turn on the radio. Which is pretty cool. You have your lighting controls up there, um, and this will sense when someone's sitting in a passenger seat and they don't have their seatbelt on. So it sums it up for the front. We will go ahead and check out the back seat and pop the trunk. Not to mention, you have your traction control off there. 
Checking out the trunk. Um, there it is. It's very small. I mean, yeah, this is a muscle car, but still the Mustang and the Challenger have a fairly good amount of room. But the rear seats do fold, I believe. Very awkward opening. It's a very small. But I do like the rear end of these. I'm not a f huge fan on the front, but um, this is has to be unlocked from the front. Getting into the back seat is a problem, as you'd expect. Um, obviously, I don't belong back here. I'm six foot four. Um, I have no headroom. I'm literally ducking. And I'm not sure how you get the seat back, but, oh, I'm dumb. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. But obviously, you can see you have no room. It's a coupe. Um, but I guess it's a aesthetically pleasing in the... It's aesthetically pleasing in the front, excuse me. Um, obviously, back here, it's really cheap hollow plastic. And you have a little quarter window. Visibility out of this car, I noticed people complain it's like sitting in a sitting in a cave. And I can completely agree with them. Um, the Mustang and the Challenger feel much better. So we'll go ahead and hop on out. If I can get my body through this little opening. Yeah, so obviously if you need a back seat, don't buy a Camaro or a muscle car in the first place. But if you want a muscle car and you do need the back seat, I'll go with the Challenger. But that sums it up for this tour, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment what you think down below and subscribe for more.